Chris, I have a question to ask. Other Chris. Other Chris. Coming down in the dark last night, seeing the sunset, was that worth it? Totally. Getting up at 3 a.m., driving a dirt road in the dark, was that worth it? It was one second, about one second when I woke up that I didn't want to get up. Okay. After that, totally. What, what makes it worth it? That. Oh, yeah, you're right. All right, we're uh, back for round two of Adventures of Chris and Chris. We didn't think biking the coast of Maine was cool enough. Well, we got one mile left. That sign is so old. You can tell by the font, but so pretty. A mile left. Whoa! A little janky. Look at that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> we got a little carried away taking photos because it's so freaking epic up here. As you can see. Pretty cool view of Katahdin I've never seen before. This is super special. Last light, set on the horizon. We'll make our way down. We've got 3.2 miles for descent. A little sleep, and then uh, we'll catch the rest of them. Let's do it. Last night, Chris and I hiked Double Top, and uh, we were on top to watch the sunset. And this morning, we are headed up the Travelers, a nine mile loop, pretty burly loop, to uh, catch the sunrise. Oh, well, we were just making our way and Chris abruptly stopped because he's hungry, apparently. Dude, there. got some nice bloobs. Beautiful masterpiece. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. Ready? That's Peaks of the Ridges, Little Knife Edge, and Baxter State Park. Todden over there. Looks like this thing goes all the way down there. Maybe a nice little ski adventure. That's Maine for you. I think this is a cool little model in New England. How to have an epic adventure in 24 hours. All it takes is a little human ingenuity, a little bit of driving, a really nice map of Baxter State Park and a good adventure buddy. We're off to the races.